What's up, traders? Um, I actually haven't counted my trades. I guess we can do that at the end. Um, I'm actually in kind of a pissy mood, uh, all because of one trade, which you're going to see on Nerdy. Um, it happened to be our last trade as well. There's actually two trades in there. And uh, yeah, just a very frustrating one. Um, but we will get right into this and roll through these. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate that support. AVEO, um, this was our first trade, pretty standard. Um, nice little pop of the bell, previous resistance from yesterday down here at 820. Get the move up through nine. It goes to 937. Uh, we got short at 919 and filled on the way back down to 895. Um, pretty standard one there. Mara, this one was kind of a pain in the ass as well. Um, I kind of fudged this one though. This one was on me. Um, had a, had these ads up here through 1450. Pretty clearly didn't want to get through there. As you can see, it kept running into some kind of resistance here. Ended up dragging both of those down. Um, this was just a one one two. I just split the one. I had it at 48 and like 60, I think, just basically splitting that in case it didn't want to get up to 50 um, and go through. Uh, we would have at least got some kind of an ad. So one one two um, came down. We actually took 75% off here because um, we had 200 shares. You can see 50, 50. And then both of these were 50. So we had 200 shares, took off 100 for a loss. Our average was at 1418 here. And um, it just didn't seem like it was going to come down. But this is this is my issue here. Um, we hadn't had a pullback yet, right? No pullback. This was an attempt, kind of went sideways, then higher. And again, if it wanted to go sideways here and then higher, even though I drug my uh, ads down here, I still need to be okay with this continuing. Um, because what we're looking for is this pullback. So had 200 shares, 1418 average. Even if I let this go to 14, you're talking that's 40 bucks or around 40 bucks, like 36 bucks. So pretty frustrating because it did exactly that. And that's what I should be looking for when I build into these positions. But instead, I was so worried about letting full size what I had accumulated thus far going back to, to, to the highs. So when it came down, started to bounce off our average and go higher, I started to just take shares off. But that's how I used to trade because I would be bigger size on the front side. So when it came down, if it looked like it was gonna bounce, I was much heavier. So I wasn't letting this go back to the highs full size, even if it meant taking some off for a loss. So old habits die hard. Um, unfortunately, uh, it ended up being a break even trade overall, even though it worked out exactly like we wanted it to and lesson learned here moving into the future. Next trade was on ear. I um, believe this one was pretty standard as well. Decent little pop here. Ended up getting short. It did try to go a little bit higher. Came down, gave us our fill um, at previous resistance, and then did whatever it was going to do afterwards. Pretty standard there. And let's see, the next trade was woof. Um, pretty standard one here. Nice little pop. This one was more expensive. You can see previous uh, high from yesterday's high. <laughs> Nice little pop. End up getting short. Um, I believe we actually got this after it made the high. I don't remember exactly. Um, started to come down, made a nice little descending triangle, gave us the flush, took this one off. We were pretty small size on this one. So um, anytime it's a little bit more expensive and liquidity is not great, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go super high on it. And then that leads us to our last trade, which we waited a while to even find. And that is nerdy. So a little bit of volume out of nowhere. First trade. Um, if we zoom in here, see if we can get just the first trade close enough. Um, get first entry, 80 shares, another 80. We had a um we had split orders here for the two. So it was the same thing as Mara, where I put 80 shares at 346 or eight, 348, and it went to 346. So it missed us for those half of shares, and then it made a really nice move down. Um and then as you can see, it continued down, would have been a really nice trade had we got that ad. Unfortunately, we didn't. Uh, and I don't know if the reason I kept some of these shares, which I only took half here, um, I believe I kept these half because I was looking for the $3 test. I had to order at 305 or 302, 303. I don't remember exactly. And we just couldn't get it. Um, so if we get this ad, which missed us by a couple pennies, I believe I'm never letting this come back up and go through our break even. Uh, however, it comes up, goes back through our break even. We actually end up adding 80 back, looking for this to be um, a lower high and looking for it to fail. As it comes back up, this essentially I have called the top. <laughs> now keep in mind, this was a fake wick. This 42 wick wasn't real. It actually only went to like 35 or 36. So that's what I was using as my stop here. 
And uh, so you can see we actually get to add, I don't remember exactly what it was, but we had a good amount of shares here. Um, we were at in 320 shares uh, after this ad. Um, basically just saying, if it works, it works. We got the ad at 30 and then we end up cutting it at 36, which was, I'm assuming, I just assumed that 35 was the top of this wick, not 42. Um, and we cut it. And as you can see, uh, it went higher. So good thing we did cut it, uh, which leads us to our second trade here. And so we started again, goes a little bit higher. We had an ad at 388. This goes to 382. So we didn't get the ad, gives us the nice pullback all the way back down to 360. But instead, our average is at 360. It bounces off our average, literally. Look at this, one, two, three. So that's six minutes in a row. This was bouncing off our average at 360. If we had got the ad up there, we would have been at like 374 with 200 shares. It comes down to 360, you can do the math, it's a lot better. But instead, now it creeps back up to the highs and I say, okay, we're gonna add, looking for this to come back down um, after it already made a little bit of a pullback. Um, so it, I do this all the time where I'll add in a spot like this and it frustrates me because yeah, sure, we get our average up, but at the same time, it's frustrating because that's where my ad probably should have been to begin with to give us the the bigger average and share size for the initial pullback. Now it's crept up back to those areas. The odds are it's gonna to try to go higher if it crept back up to those areas. Instead, it actually does try to come back down. So we add on the way back down, giving us 300 shares, um, looking for it to break that 160, gets down to 61 and then shoots back up and takes, I only take off the 100 here because I told myself when I added here, um, if we don't get the actual pullback, I'm gonna be okay with this going higher, um, playing this up through four if we have to. It fakes us out, we don't add anything back, comes down, we end up taking 150 off of the 200 that we have left, looking for this to come all the way back down into this range um, with the other 50 shares, looking to see if it wants to fade the rest of the day. But instead, it starts to go back up towards the highs. And basically, there was a bunch of candles here, um, 74 through 76, that I said, if that didn't hold, we're just gonna take it off. So we took it off at 78. I think the order was at 77, so we must've got a sense slippage. And as you can see, it never actually went back to high day. Um, 84, uh, 87 was the high, it still is. And uh, so now it's uh, finally working its way down. I mean, I couldn't win on this ticker. Uh, we missed an ad by two cents, missed an ad by six cents. It comes up, stops us out on our leftovers without going high of day um, just to fade the rest of the day. It's just, it was a very, very tough trade and it really emotionally messed with me. It was only a $30 loss. It's not a big deal. I could have took it off green so many times. Even after this, when this came down, um, the uh, on this first try, we could have took it off right here and we would have been green if we would have got it all off at 61 overall on the trade. But it would just kept, it just kept messing with me. <laughs> the thing just kept messing with me. It was very frustrating. But we ended up up $6.23 on the day. Obviously, um, after commissions, we had 28 tickets today. Uh, it's probably going to be, actually, that should be right around, let me see. We do the the quick math here. 28 times 0 0.035, uh, that's not right. So it should be $9.80. Um, I, I didn't mean to put the zero on there because uh, it's 35 cents, 28 times 0.3. Yeah, so we'll be a little red on the day, but I guess considering it's not that bad, um, I had the kid by myself all day today, so that was kind of a pain. Uh, I just wasn't mentally here. I have both kids by myself tomorrow, so honestly not sure how I'm going to handle that. I might just take it a little bit on the easier side. Um, but yeah, uh, just a frustrating day. We're going to move on to tomorrow and that's all I got. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate the support. If you do have any questions or comments, leave those down below. You can find me in discord or on Twitter. Both of those links are down below as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.